The Cisco Meraki add-on for Splunk version 3 introduces a ton of new features and capabilities. Hi, my name is Corey Gwynn, Cloud API Product Architect, and today we're going to really dig into what the features and capabilities are of the new add-on, um, how you can get started, and really where you can go from there. So when we think about the two platforms, uh, Cisco Meraki is, is known for you know, managing your networks at scale, where you have a suite of different devices, anything from you know, appliance VPN to switches and access points, Internet of Things, uh, cameras, and many more. Um, and so there's a ton of data and capabilities there. But where uh, Splunk really provides value is that it can aggregate this information across multiple Meraki organizations. It can combine data sets from other types of solutions in general, um, whether they be at the network layer or just other data points, uh, whether it be application um, or specific feeds from uh, a manufacturing plant. It doesn't really matter, but ultimately you're able to take this, uh, these data sets and now create your own dashboards, your own insights, your own role-based access control around the types of information that is useful to the people who need it, and that sensitive information is hidden from those who don't. So ultimately, the Cisco Meraki add-on is a connector into the Splunk platform, allowing uh, you to extract the data that's in the Meraki interface into the, the Splunk interface. And um, we're not alone in this. There are many other Cisco uh, services and applications, um, or products rather, that can also connect into uh, Splunk with their own TA or their technical add-on. And from that point, when you have all of these data feeds coming in, you can then extend this with your own custom dashboards um, or you know, really aggregate um, information that might be related um, between these different uh, solutions. So the use cases are, um, you know, quite wide. Um, you can do a lot with this. Um, anything around just monitoring the general state of the network to uh, configuration changes or to security events. Um, but we've also introduced, again, a number of additional data points, things around license management, API usage, firmware, system updates, etc. Um, so a lot of these new capabilities were just added in this new version 3 release uh, that just happened um, this February. And so if you want to go ahead and get started, it's quite simple. As long as you have a Splunk instance, you can then add the um, add-on to your environment. Uh, and then you can add um, one or several Meraki organizations. Um, it'll ask you to set up a few things. And then uh, if you like, you can just have it automatically configure it to pull in every resource um, that is available. Or you can select which individual data input, inputs that um, are necessary for your you know, visibility. Um, and then finally, the solution works uh, effectively using our um, dashboard API. It's running a scheduled job, so depending on how often you want it to make these uh, synchronizations, it will pull in the data. Um, and then alternatively, we have webhooks, which provide real-time events when an alert happens. So if an access point were to go offline or a VPN connection were to be um, uh, going offline as well, uh, those alerts would be sent to Splunk as they happen. So once you have the configuration all set up, ultimately you really have two main interfaces that you can get started with. Um, off to the left side, we can see um, the really the search uh, view where you can explore all of the data that's been ingested into the Splunk system. Um, so they have a really powerful search language um, that you can learn um, or you know, actually pull out some examples that we provide in um, this add-on so that, again, you can get started pretty quickly. On the right-hand side, um, we'll actually see a, an example of a dashboard that was created from the data that was pulled in via the Splunk add-on. Um, in this case, it was an API analysis dashboard, um, which allows you to 
see which of your ecosystem solutions or custom scripts running against your Meraki network are causing or having issues. Um, and I was able to create uh, a whole bunch of different uh, you know, visualizations and insights based off of this data. So diving in a little bit to the details of what is coming with V3 and what was already included in version two. Um, like I mentioned before, the security events and change log, um, all of that was already in the base uh, version two of the Splunk add-on, as well as some basic uh, device status uh, and network overview information. Um, but with version three, we were able to include really about 30 additional um, data inputs uh, in total. Uh, but at a high level, uh, we're able to pull in all of the organization summary information around top devices, um, you know, spanning the entire uh, full stack of the Cisco networking platform, um, as well as pulling in um, really efficient information around usage um, or detailed metrics around things like packet loss. Um, so all of that information is now being pulled in via the connector. Um, so you can get the free uh, Cisco Meraki add-on on Splunk Base. It's available today. Um, simply just go again to uh, Splunk Base Store. You can search for it, uh, find Meraki, go ahead and then um, download or just install, um, depending on if it's a cloud or on-premise instance. So we're going to go ahead and, and jump into a demo to see how all of this works. All right, let's go ahead and get the add-on from Splunk Base. If you're logged in, you can go ahead and hit the download button. And once that's installed, you would then be able to configure the Cisco Meraki add-on. Um, just go ahead and click on that add button and specify the org name um, along with the organization ID as well as your secret API key. You can set the APA call rate limit as well as choose to automatically import all of the input data that you would like. Now, if you didn't choose that option, you can manually select each one of these inputs um, from you know, any one of your organizations, um, name it, uh, as well as specify the frequency and where the, the data is stored. Now, once it's in your system, the add-on includes several example visualizations that you could use out of the box, or you can um, you know, effectively copy and make your own dashboard. So in this case, we're looking just at the VPN status information and, and general appliance health. Um, or we can see an example of a stacked bar chart with API response error codes. Um, now, if you want to understand how those work, clicking on the spyglass, provides you with the actual search field, and you can see the code that was used to generate the visual visualization, as well as the data that is actually available. Um, now, with the, those powers combined, you can effectively create your own dashboard. Um, and so in this case, this is the API analysis dashboard, which combines several of those example uh, visualizations as well as new ones that uh, I created, essentially, um, giving me the ability um, to understand exactly how APIs are used with my Meraki system. You can learn a lot more about this application at meraki.io where you can learn as well about the Meraki dashboard API and other uh, services that are made available. And be sure to check out Splunk Base to get the Cisco Meraki add-on for Splunk version 3 today. I hope you learned something today. Thanks for your time. Take care.